Hi, this is Ian Buckley with MakeUseOf.com, and today we're going to make live installs of Linux onto USB sticks. Now, um, I'm just going to do one. I'm going to do Linux Mint, and that is because I come from a Windows background, and if I was trying Linux for the first time, I'd probably choose Linux Mint. It's uh, similar to Windows in many ways. Uh, you'll find a lot of uh, familiarities there. However, if you're coming from the Mac operating system, I suggest you look at Elementary OS. It is a beautiful version of Linux. It feels a little bit like a Mac. Whichever one you decide to use, head to their website, head to their download page, and get downloading. So on the download page for Linux Mint, you'll notice you have a few options, uh, Cinnamon, Mate, or XFCE. Now these are all different desktops, so the version of Linux behind them is identical, it's just a question of which one you like. I would suggest actually trying to download all of these and going through this several times just to get a feeling for the different flavors. I know I like the Cinnamon desktop, so I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna be using it on a 64-bit system. On the next page here, you'll see that there's a few options as to how you can download it. Now you can download it straight from the browser using one of the country mirrors, but I would suggest uh, using the torrent. Now, not only will this let you get it much faster uh, because you'll be torrenting from other people, uh, it'll also mean that you don't necessarily have to authenticate the ISO. This is just because of the way torrenting works. You will get a complete file once the download is finished. So click on the button for torrent. It will download the torrent file and open this into whatever torrent program you use. I've already done this and downloaded it. Um, so now we can prepare both a USB stick and a program for burning it onto it. So now we've downloaded the image for our operating system, we need a way to put it onto a USB stick. So we're going to use Etcher. Etcher is a free program, it's available for Windows, Mac or Linux, and it is perfect for putting images onto SD cards and USB drives. So head to etcher.io and download it and then open it up. So now we have Etcher open, we need to select the image we've just downloaded. So navigate to where it is on your computer, it'll be an ISO file, select it and click open. Next, selecting our drive, it's very important we get this right, we don't want to try and install Linux onto the hard drive we're already using, that's going to cause all kinds of horribleness. I can see here that my USB stick is drive E, so I'm going to select drive E. And all that's left to do now is click Flash. Um, it will uh, ask you if you allow this app to make changes to your device, just click Yes. This can take quite a while, it will burn the image onto the USB drive, it will then validate the image to make sure that the USB drive isn't broken. Just be patient and we'll come back when it's done. All being well, it should say Flash Complete and it's done. We now have a Linux Live USB stick. But before you can boot into it on uh, some, most these days, Windows computers, we have to make a change within Windows 10. So uh, head to the Start menu and just go to Power and Sleep Settings. And on the side here where it says Additional Power Settings, we want to head to there. Um, and on the left where it says choose what the power buttons do, uh, we need to look under this menu and make one change. Now these greyed out settings, we need to change the turn on fast startup to off. We don't want fast startup. So to do that, we need to click change settings that are currently unavailable and turn off fast startup. Go to the bottom, select save changes. And now if you were to turn off your PC, turn it back on again and hold down your boot key, it will give you the option of booting from the USB drive. Now, it depends from computer to computer which key that is. On my computer, you hold down F12 while booting up to go into the boot menu, and if you do, you should end up with a screen that looks something like this. So this is a live version of Linux Mint. It works exactly the same as a normal Linux Mint installation, except when you turn the computer off, you lose every change that you make. That's what makes live USBs so good for learning. You can plug it in, you can mess around with it. When you turn the computer off, you're back at baseline. So that is how you install Linux onto a USB stick. Now this video was aimed mostly at Windows users. If you are a Mac user, head to the Make Use Of website and have a look at the How To Boot A Linux Live USB Stick On Your Mac article, which takes you through exactly what I've talked about today, but from a Mac perspective. And if you're wondering what comes next, um, a live USB installation is great, but it might start to get frustrating that everything gets deleted every time you turn it off. So have a look at the Keep a Portable Ubuntu installation with you wherever you go article. This one will cover how to make a USB stick persistent, which will save some of your settings, or how to actually install Ubuntu onto a USB stick, meaning that you basically have a fully working operating system with a partitioned hard drive in your pocket at all times. I hope this video has been useful to you and don't forget to subscribe to the Make Use of YouTube channel for more weekly tech tips and giveaways. Cheers.